Welcome back in. Time to dive into the mailbag. Use the hashtag Ravens Mailbag, and we'll get your questions up here on the big screen. First up, this is for Garrett Downing. How do you think the loss of Matt Skura will affect the offense? Well, I think it's a tough blow for the offense. Matt Skura was having a really good season, and he's somebody that kind of have, had ascended this year. But Patrick McCarry stepped in last week, and there was really didn't miss a beat at all. And I thought that was really said a lot about him. He's an undrafted guy. If you go back at the time when we were all making our 53-man rosters, a lot of people had him off the roster. But he's somebody who did not play center in college at all. Didn't play center at all in college. Had to go back to his high school days of playing center. He stepped into the starting lineup, played it a really high level, and I think that he's going to basically hold the fort for this offensive line. I do not, as good as Skur was playing, I do not think that his injury will be kind of like a death blow to this offensive line. Yeah, this is the first major blow. We'll see how it affects them. Next question up here on the old tweet deck, and this is for Ryan Mink. Do you think the Ravens will go ahead and pay Greg Roman and keep him here? This is a big topic yeah. as he approaches what could be an offseason with a lot of teams looking for the next great offensive mind. Yeah, I, I think the Ravens will definitely try. You know, it's just whether Greg Roman wants that or whether he wants a head coaching job. I think it all depends on him. You know, some guys, their career aspiration is, I want to be a head coach, and the first time they get offered that job, they take it. Greg strikes me as a guy that's not exactly like that. I think that he could be patient. The Ravens pay him well. You know, if I'm the Ravens, I, I'm paying him quite well to keep him here. And he could be patient a little bit, have fun, have fun coaching up Lamar, have fun with this offense, continuing to revolutionize the NFL, and then wait for the, the exact right job and the right quarterback to go to maybe down the line. Yeah, there's no doubt. He has what everybody wants in contract situations. Leverage, final question <laughs> for Cliff Brown. Are the Ravens peaking too early, or have we not even reached the ceiling yet? It's hard for me to imagine the Ravens getting much better than this. Well, we've talked about this before. I don't believe in the whole peaking too early thing, particularly when you're not even the number one seed. I mean, the Ravens still have a lot to play for, trying to get that home field advance throughout the playoffs. I love how their focus has been on each game, not looking past anyone, whether it's the Bengals or the Rams. It doesn't matter who the Ravens play. They're kind of like playing against themselves to me. As long as they feel that they're ready to play, they're going to keep winning. I don't think this is something they need to worry about. I don't think there's something they are worried about. And sure, why not just run the table? I mean, if you do that, uh, I think you win the Super Bowl. John, so, I think right. John Harbaugh is the master of finding different ways to motivate the players. This past week going out to L.A., there was a bunch of California natives who all got game balls after the game. And Marcus Peters returning to play against the Rams, that was a motivating factor. Every week, you know, this week it'll be 49ers, who are supposedly the NFL's best team. You know, here we go. Let's see. I think every week they'll find something. Well, I think mailbag's peaking a little early. Let's keep <laughs> these good questions coming.